<coughs> hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I am sitting in a 7-Eleven. Uh, I want to say thank you to Keza um, for the uh, super sticker and oh, thank, thank you. Um, I got a bunch of, uh, what I, I haven't eaten in a 7-Eleven for lunchtime in a while and uh, I just got a bunch of, uh, you know, kind of like the deep fried foods that they have here. Um, but first off, I picked up a cowpea soda pineapple drink. Um, never tried it before. I don't like cowpeas that much. But I thought, you know what, why not try it, right? I'm going to move the camera up a little bit so my head is here. Hello. Uh, hello, everybody. Um, this is my lunch. It's kind of greasy. It's kind of uh, a lot of carbs. Hmm. But I don't eat carbs at night, so this is kind of like when I... Uh, hey, Tammy. Uh, A1. Um, Nancy. Um, when I kind of freak out and start eating carbs. So this is the Calpis. I don't like Calpis much, but again, it's it's pineapple. So why not, right? So cheers, everybody. Mm. Mm. It's actually really good, actually. I saw that. I said thank you, Colbert. I did. It's kind of murky in a way. Um, it's got a strong pineapple taste, though. Hey, Desert Fox. Um, okay, what did anyone say? I guess you were at school having lunch in between lunch break. I don't, I don't go to a school. I'm not like Critically East Japan where I eat lunch with the kids because I don't work in a school. I work in an office. So, um, all right. Um, so this here, a little bit of what is this? Macaroni salad with egg and mayo. This was two, basically two bucks. And then I got a bunch of fried food, which we are going to uh, share with you. Of course, we got our chopsticks. Um, so I'm gonna kind of open everything up and, and fold it up and show you guys. Kind of the differences, I guess, of 7-Eleven uh, Japan. Now this is, uh, this is called karage bo. Pieces of chicken on a stick. Freaking amazing. Uh, this is about 135 yen. Um, of course, I had to get one for the Americans out there because it's called an American dog, but it's really a corn dog. So I got this. Uh, this was about 140 yen or something like that. Um, now, Feng did answer. Oh, hi, Avocado. Thank you. I got a piece of just fried chicken. This is a spicy fried chicken. I got a lot. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> a hash brown. Yes, it's those McDonald or Costco hash browns. Uh, you want not to? You know what to do. <laughs> I shouldn't open my mouth. Is a meal here? I'm scared. How long is your lunch break? Uh, I have 45 minutes or so. Um, I haven't started work yet, so. And then of course we have a typical egg roll because Feng uh, had mentioned about an egg roll. So I'm gonna start off with the egg roll first. I'm gonna try and uh, cut it. That's kind of like what you're looking inside here. So, uh, eat it up the most. Mm. It's all right, typical fast food 7 Eleven egg roll, I guess. Um, I don't know what kind of meat it is. <laughs> kind of scared that way. Uh, yes, I did. Now you have to eat super natto now, Drew. Uh, oh God, Neil's here. Hi, Neil. <laughs> this is the hash brown here. We've all had hash browns, right? I like these things. This is only about 80 yen, so not too bad. I'm getting my carbs on, and I'll probably fall asleep later on. What was Fang's question? The only problem is they don't give you napkins here. Of course not, right? Does egg roll have egg? That's a good question, actually, Fang. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna open up the uh, macaroni salad. Love stuff. Hey, Morris. How are you? Been a while. Thanks for joining. Mm. All greasy. Getting your carbs on, I am prepped for it. I'm 
Mathis charges two something. Really, a desert box? I didn't know that. Um, so yeah, this here is you know got the nice uh, bits of egg, which I absolutely love. Oh, mm. they have other bits of egg on top too, which is pretty good. And then the actual macaroni, macaroni itself, I think looks uh, pretty good actually. It's got enough salt in it here too, actually. Mm. So, well, thank you, Abaco. So, I was going to go to one of the places if you join me in the morning coffee show, but then I got to thinking, why not come to a 7-Eleven where I know they have a sitting area and show you some of the 7-Eleven foods because when I compare 7-Eleven from back home to Japan, Japan is far more superior. I really believe so. Um, but that's just my opinion. Uh, I eat these probably two or three times a week. Uh, karage bo, or just, you know, fried chicken on a stick. Um, it's, I take these and I actually put it on a bed of cabbage with some cucumber um, and tomato. And that's how I have my salad. Um, you know, I don't want to put just boiled chicken, right? This is more tasty. Mm. It is thigh pieces. Which is... Is it really, Chris? Mm. And a big shout out to Chris Hansen, our newest uh, Patreon TV crew asylum family member who joined after the live stream today. Uh, thank you very much for that. I truly, truly do appreciate that. Uh, welcome. Arigato. Um, this is what I like about these things, eh? It's the ketchup and a uh, bit of mustard, and you just, well, I'm not gonna squeeze it, but you just bend it. And I don't know what you guys like on your corn dogs, but snap it, and then you can just squeeze it out quite easily. Yeehaw. Mm. For me, these corn dogs have too much batter. I wish it was a bit more longer and skinnier. <laughs> Don't insert the dirty jokes, people. Um, mm. It's hard to eat. It's pretty, like, pretty dry, right? Mustard is a classic on a corn dog or honey mustard for some. Yeah, that's true, too. Um, there are Panda Express. There's one in general from Shinichi and uh, Satoshi on their video a couple weeks ago. And there's one in California. Hey, Robert, how are you? Uh, greeting, if you say you have uh, robots, we'll be doing... Someday, no. Dinosaur Hunter. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> <clears throat> so I am sitting in a 7-Eleven by Omiya Station. And um, how do you boil the eggs there? Like, why is orange in the middle, not yellow? I'm so confused. Um, our eggs are not pasteurized here. I believe that's why. Um, maybe Javelon can uh, answer that also because he lives here. But once you have Japanese eggs, you'll never go back to uh, American, Canadian. Mm. Jap Japanese love egg so much. You get egg on everything. If, you, if you're an egg lover, like, you know, I like eggs and stuff. But it wasn't until I came to Japan that I started eating egg with everything. Like, seriously, everything. It's crazy. Oh, look at that. Nice pasta salad. If I can get it with my chopsticks here. Big chunks of egg. It, it's freaking yummy, people. Hi, Kupara. I don't remember in the morning coffee if I said hi to you earlier, but thank you uh, for being here, Katura. 
And then the last thing that I haven't taken a bite yet is the actually spicy chicken. Now this is a piece of thigh meat. It's gonna be super juicy. Um, now, in my opinion, I have not had this yet. That egg is soft boiled, so the yolk will change orange, but a raw oak in Japan is orange anyway. Exactly. Japan does have the best eggs. Absolutely, uh, Night Rider's gal. Hey, fake tooth. Um, Fammy Chicky. Their chicken like this is really good, but I haven't had one, so I'm about to bite it for the first time. Mmm. Mmm. It's a little bit spicy. Hey, dark install. Some daifuku. Mm. Share with me, I'm hungry. Here you go, Anna. Bite, 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 bite. <laughs> Let's take the breading off. You can just see how glistening it is. It's freaking amazing. Mm. Really is good. Yeah, I wanted to show you guys inside the 7-Eleven, so when, when we do leave, maybe I will show you a little bit. Hopefully they don't, uh, well, even if they kick me out, it doesn't matter. Um, well, you can come to 7-Eleven here. I know people that live out of 7-Eleven every day. Because you have salads, you have protein, meats and stuff. You have all kinds of, like seriously, all kinds of different things that you can eat. You know, like when you go over, I'll show you guys, hopefully. You have like your bento box st stuff. Like you got your, you can get ramen to udon to uh, curry and rice to like almost anything that you want. Um, sandwiches, salads, they have so many things. Hey, this must be the place. How are you? And then your fried foods. Like, I'm picking it out on today because I'm getting my carbs. And I'm sure if my wife watches this in the replay, I'll be in trouble. <laughs> but that's okay. Mmm. Mmm. A good taste. Average taste for an egg roll. Um, my favorite way is eating an egg. I like eggs every which way but loose. Sometimes loose too. Mm. The only thing I don't like too much is the corn dog, but I thought I'd show you what uh, the Japanese do here for corn dogs. It's pretty much the same, I guess. Um, I just think that the batter is just way too thick but maybe that's what some of you like out there. With cash over the years. I have no idea what you're talking about. Mm. Mm. Not bad. Wow. Mm, this is behind me, but this is kind of uh, the seating area here. So, yeah, it's a small area, about six or seven seats, um, but it, it's, it's nice to have sitting areas uh, in a 7-Eleven, right? Yes, the cricket legs are behind me. Hey, Jason, how are you? Mm. Mm. I'm really impressed with this Calpis, uh, Calpis uh, <laughs> drink. The regular uh, drink, I don't like so much, but uh, when you put a flavor into it, like pineapple, it's pretty good. Right, Clayton? Onigiri and fried chicken, amazing. so refreshing. It really, really is. Oh. I 
know if I could finish all this. So I, was, I was hungry because I didn't have breakfast today because I was doing the morning coffee show. But this is all I will eat today. Um, as I spit food right out of my mouth into the camera. Um, tonight when I get home, I'll probably have like a dessert, like a little small little ice cream or something. Um, I won't be home for the nine or 10 hours. It is now 1240. So I'll probably be home between 11 and 11.30 p.m. So too late to eat a meal, of course, right? I know, Relic, sorry. Hey, Traveling Gabriel, how are you, man? But yeah, I'm almost finished. A lot of, I'm, I'm pigging out on carbs. Finished dessert with a Slurpee. <laughs> we don't have Slurpees here in Japan. Did you know that? Yes, Feng, I will be late. Not uh, the hazards of the job. Today I start at one o'clock, which is about 20 minutes. My office is just five, 10 minutes away. Um, I'll be in my office for a little bit and then I'll be traveling to a school um, not too far away from here. And um, I'll be with my, watch, you know, talking with one of my teachers and then watching their lessons until about 10 o'clock tonight, and then it's about an hour to get home, so 11 o'clock or so I'll get home, so. Mm. I'm actually almost done. I guess I just showed you guys, but, mm. that was my complete mess here. But I know a lot of people, especially a lot of youth, that have um, come to Japan and like really like 7-Eleven in Japan. If you've been to Japan, you like 7-Eleven in Japan? Because um, honestly, like I think it's way better um, than uh, back home. Yeah, you got Slurpees and corn dogs and you know, whatever, but <coughs> actually Relic, I was looking for a 7-Eleven egg sandwich today um, they didn't have one, so I went with the fried food instead. So, hey, Effie. Mm. Oh. Amazing. They do call it spicy. You know, you got a bit of a spice coating on the outside here, but it's nothing really. I wish I could do a shot. I'll do a shot later tonight. <laughs> Absolutely Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. There is something about a 7-Eleven sandwich, egg sandwich. This is way better than that $60 breakfast I did on Shut Up and Eat. Absolutely. <laughs> what time was it? when you film the Tokyo Dome City Backstreets Tokyo video. Um, I think it started around 5 o'clock, 5.30. Because as you saw me walking around, it started getting darker and darker uh, over that 30 minutes of filming. But that was filmed um, probably about two months ago. So... Um, now at that time it wouldn't get so dark, but that was filmed a, a while ago. Uh, I always save the best for last. Mm. Hi, Jen. Absolutely, avocado. I agree with you. They have a better choice here. Like seriously, the breads, and they still have all the amenities. Um, amenities? Well, yeah, they have that too, but you can still get all kinds of different breads. Um, well, I'm going to show you, right? They got beer. <laughs> um, they got a liquor area. Freaking amazing. 7-Elevens are dope. And there are a lot of people that live on 7-Eleven. 
Uh, they eat, you know, they, maybe they'll get their cup of noodles or uh, some fried food or a sandwich or a bento, right? And, uh, and they just don't want to cook and it's probably faster to pick it up and go home. And that, that's what makes 7-Elevens here popular. I guess convenience stores in mean, itself popular here because they truly are, wait for it, ready? Convenient and moderately pleasing. More than moderately pleasing. But yeah, amazing. Mm. The hash brown, I just got it out of kicks to show you. Um, this must be the place, you're absolutely right. Here in 7-Eleven, you do have toilet access. So, most of them. I have come across a couple 7-Elevens where they don't uh, have washrooms. Or you have a complete washroom um, where it's spick and span, seriously. Get that reference? Hmm? Oh, man. We're almost at 50 likes, people. If you haven't smashed that like button and uh, you're having fun, you know, learning about 7-Eleven in Japan and uh, want to help support, smash that like button. I would appreciate it. I'm really impressed with this. Mm. Thank God it's not coconut and I wouldn't drink it. That had no beer. Really relic. I didn't know that. Hey, Dan, how are you? You want to steal my hat? I know. I got to get you a hat, Anna. I'll try. I don't think I can like bust this open. And you, yeah, you can't really tell anything. Seriously, karage bo. Karage is fried chicken. Mmm. It's freaking yummy. That's all I'm gonna say. And I'm trying to clean up. Uh, and the good thing is, is I'm going to try to fit everything inside here. Except for the... Is that a crow? <laughs> crow! Hey, Linda B., how are you? Great cooking video the other day. Uh, last piece. Itadakimasu. Mm. I'm trying to fit everything in. <laughs> Let me go throw this in the garbage. That's awesome. Thank you so much, everybody. And now for the double down, yes. We got two donations today for the double down challenge, uh, which is Mentaiko, Etsuko, somebody. First time watching YouTube Live, Tokyo View. Hello, welcome, Etsuko. Uh, truly appreciate it. McClellan, is that your name? Ah. But no, seriously, guys. 7-Eleven is amazing. It truly is. Hey, Jovis. Um, as we walk out of here, I'll, I'll kind of point the camera the other way and show you a little bit. Um, they do have the plastic sheets up for, uh, you know, protect the employees from the customers, you know, things like that. Um, but here they have bank machines inside. They have coffee machines. Um, they do have the coffee machines where, you know, I can get my, uh, like this here. You know, that coffee there, the Seven Cafe, 
Sometimes you guys have seen me uh, eat, you know, drink that or something. 7-Eleven Lawson's best fried chicken in Japan for 100 yen. No, I don't agree, Clayton. I think Family Mart chicken is better. That's just me. Um, I think it's more juicy. And trust me, I've eaten every single one of them. But I'm pretty sure you have too, Clayton. Um, don't let your cigarette on it. <laughs> um, but, you know, that's for me anyway. So, let's go. You'll get hooked on this live on his live streams. I hope so. Hey, JC. Um, anyways, let's go. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Um, I live stream every day about useless things. Um, it's more about the community getting together, getting to know each other. And, uh, well, today I'm doing a 7-Eleven lunch and talking about the differences uh, between 7-Eleven here in Japan and back home. Um, the one thing that's really interesting... Hey, Cassie, how are you? I saw you in uh, um, Darren's live stream uh, earlier. <coughs> um, a lot of foreigners uh, from Nepal um, in Middle East countries area uh, are employed by 7-Eleven. Um, and they're, they speak amazing Japanese, which is pretty cool, and Family Mart and Lawson and a lot of that, right? Um, God, I wish they would give you napkins. What's the dress code for my company? Casual? Um, when we were working in the classrooms, we wear jeans, shorts, t-shirts, socks. <laughs> in my office, I will usually wear a suit. Um, wow, we got 97 people. That's holy shit. That's amazing. Um, yes, Family Chicky is awesome. But, you know, I usually wear a suit, but because I'm going to, we hit 100. If you could read lips and you and I said, yeah. Underwear, Drew? No, I'm not wearing any underwear. <laughs> Let me just pack my bag and uh, we'll get going. Um, <laughs> oh, this, this pineapple shit is the bomb, man. <laughs> I did J vlog and they didn't give me one. It's kind of weird. Uh, 100 people. There, well, there was 100 now to 96. But hey, you know. Pretty good for a Tokyo Drew stream, right? Avocado, his kids teaching basically, I think. Avocado. Did Avocado order Avocado ask? Sorry. Hi, Cindy. How are you, by the way? Um, it's, it's an English institute or what type of school? I work for an Aikaiwa company. Um, I don't teach. Uh, sometimes I do, though. Um, but I'm like the manager of Saitama. Da Saitama. Um, and I go, you know, I, I do a lot of office work. But I also go to uh, the classrooms and help my teachers and... Uh, support them things like that so today i'm going to uh to being drunk during class sometimes they were having your no i've never heard of that actually not with me now say anyways i wish i could get with shinichi and satoshi or shinichi um but yeah it's difficult right so the best tama <laughs> bye cindy um one of the supervisors in my husband's job, Chrysler got drunk on the job and got fired. Oh, damn, eh? So, yeah, I'm going to do a quick walkout. Uh, this is the wall, but you can see this is uh, the 7 Eleven. Look at it, they got the wines, got all kinds of different things here. Um, look at all the cup of noodles. It's all the drinks, all the sandwiches, all the bento boxes, all kinds of different things. They got breads. Look at this, ice cream, lots of alcohol, they got the beer, they got pretty much everything here, so it's pretty cool. This is the um, th machines and stuff, so then we're just going to walk out the side here. I didn't want to show too much because they were watching me actually, so... <laughs> Can I move to Japan? Now this, there's two doors. I actually came out the, the back door. Um, <coughs> and then <coughs> we are now into the hostess club area right away. So again, you have all these uh, hostess clubs and uh, things like that. I didn't see this knockout, the darts and karaoke bar before. I'm not familiar with that, but 
we're gonna go down a familiar area here. Um, and this is actually where I wanted to go, was to one of the things Coco Curry we talked about this morning. Look how amazing that is. Oh, I love Coco Curry. Just love it. And of course, this is the, uh, the main area of uh, where I was. So you can see that um, 7-Eleven, the entrance is like right there. And then we came out on the other side. But uh, this is the main alleyway. Omiya Station is just down there. And there's so many restaurants around here. Go for curry, goddamn, I'm full now, man. Uh, this restaurant here, this I don't know what it is, just opened up. Um, watch out for these crazy ass people. I love, this used to be a tobacco and uh, alcohol shop. I love this sign here. And they closed down about a year ago, it was too bad. It was Ma and Pa kind of style place. All the, you know, all those signs are for individual uh, clubs like E Gals, Love Song, Filipino. That's the girls' bar tiara. They're always open. Don't know what they're doing. And she's just standing there. Usually they're really energetic and so on and so forth. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, that is. I'm pretty much uh, just heading to work now. I've got a few minutes still gonna light up a smoke before I go because you know smokers after you eat you gotta smoke but seriously 7-eleven here in Japan is the bomb really it is the bomb man um, I showed you a little bit there and uh, I'm pretty sure I don't know if it looks much different than uh, what you're used to um, you know back home or where, wherever you're from but uh, go in the girls bar I actually want to go in there one day that'd be kind of funny just a foreigner walking in right away, right? I might be spelling Basia wrong. I have no idea what that means. Um, but, you know, thank you all for the super chats and super got a phone. I just got a phone call, so I got to go soon, guys. Um, <coughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm just going to head to work. And uh, I want to say thank you to everybody. So make sure you do check out these two videos here. The Patreon link is here. Chris Hansen, thank you for being our newest member. And until next time, keep it real, keep it raw, straight true to yourself, because I always do. Bye, guys.